Hi guys, for the longest time I've had this domain called debase.com. It was originally for a database of my music or something like that, but anyway, now it's just like a dumping ground for all my tech stuff. There's a blog which I haven't written to for about three years, and there's a, there's a lot of tips. And um, Google Analytics shows that the tips are, 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 are quite popular, so I just wanted to maintain the site, which I haven't done for a while, and maybe add something to it. So what's been stopping me? IkiWiki has been stopping me. So since I've stopped hosting with Branchable and I'm just gone off IkiWiki. IkiWiki is like the original static site generator, but it's written in Perl and I'm just totally anti-Perl. So sorry, Joey Hess who created um, uh, IkiWiki. He's also a prolific Debian developer, all around really nice guy. I just want personally to move to something more modern. What is that? It's Hugo. Um, and yeah, in the last couple of days, I must say I've been very frustrated with Hugo. The documentation's not very good. The community, the IRC channel, it's really not there. Um, it's one of those things you just have to like, spend hours just knocking your head against the wall until you have a breakthrough. So the breakthrough for me was, hmm, well, I had a few, um, my, always, like for example, my, my grading from one markdown site to a static site generator to another, you always think it's like simple, but it's really not. Like for example, IkiWiki has this like weird inline thing and Hugo basically has a, a structure that you need to keep with, uh, with sections and these underscored markdown files. Um, anyway, you can see what I've done here for the most part. So this is the Hugo site. This is the old site. So for example, if I choose um, a blog here and I've got it hosted now on the subdomain, it, the subdomain will go, it will go, it will replace um, debase.com. But I've just wanted to compare, make sure all the, the URL, I hate breaking URLs, never break a URL. So I'm just using this hugo.debase.com to, to sort of stage things. So, okay, let me quickly, um, tell you what I needed to do. So this is the old site. Um, first off, like Hugo wants things in .md for, by default. So I wrote this little little shell, SED, and like, for example, uh, IkiWiki uses this meta title, front meta, front meta. In uh, Hugo, they give you like a lot of choice for the different types of markdown in as front meta, but I'm just using YAML. I know, YAML. I've got used to it. And of course I'm using I'm using git to get the original date. So this is how I converted my my tips and my blog through this convert script. And let me just go into Hugo and let me just try and just So yeah, as I mentioned, you need to keep things into in Hugo's sort of structure. Like for example, now the tips are like in a directory and and they sort of titled by this front meta and this underscore and so this underscore MD thing is like quite important to get your head around and that's yeah index to MD goes in there all your markdown goes in your content I got my blog I've got lots of blog I got all my blogs there so my 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 blog URLs are actually case sensitive so that's one of the first issues I run I run up against. I had to put in this configuration, disable path to lower, because Hugo lower cases everything. Also, I was using like image and YouTube links inside my markdown. And you need to bizarrely say that you want unsafe markup using this gnarly YAML. Anyway, once you have these in your configuration, so this is this is the yeah, uh, Hugo configuration. This is the Netlify thing. This is really bizarre to me. I just copy and pasted it from somewhere. Um, and yeah, um, I, on, on the regards to the tips, I did have to preserve the, um, what do you call it, the URLs. And you do that with this, like, this URL front matter there. The date goes there, the title goes there. Yeah, I think it's working for the most part. I, I Another big part, to wrap my head around, or I'm still wrapping my head around, is, is is the theme. So I just used this tutorial theme to get started, and I've been studying it. So this is the theme that Hugo resorts to if it, if you don't have 
um, the the layout sort of uh, the local the local labor layout will sort of trump or precede the theme. So so this is the layout I'm writing. This is my own stuff, and I'm trying to replace this sort of generic theme. And um, yeah, and in here I have I have all these sort of like Go templated uh, directives to render out stuff. It takes some time to work out. I had to study a lot of very, very bloated themes to work out how to do things like this. <laughs> but now I have this like cool sort of like edit this link at the bottom. And uh, what else do I have? I have this like index page which sort of sums up how many tips and blogs that I have. So yeah, I think it's mostly in shape here, and hence I thought I would share my my F, my uh, my experience from moving from 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 Iki Wiki to Hugo with you guys. If you've done something similar, let me know. And so far, I'm li I'm liking it, and uh, hopefully this will prompt me to just you know do the last ten percent and get it and get this done. And uh, hopefully, I'll be tech tech blogging and. Uh, and adding tips in the near future. So thanks guys for watching. Please like, please comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Toodle pip.